The blue standard container pulled out of the warehouse to the sound of firecrackers, celebrating the peak of production aiming to resolve one of the key bottlenecks that has plagued world trade since the disruption caused by COVID-19. It took us six years from 2006 to 2011 to make one million containers. But now it's taken us just two years to break the five million mark. That's pretty fast work. The factory is owned by China's shipping giant Costco. All global shipping was hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic last year, severely interrupting global industrial and supply chains. Also hit hard were shipping container supplies. The big boxes were stuck on the wrong side of several oceans, and rising exports from China led to a flood of orders for new containers. There was such a shortage that some ships arrived carrying nothing but empty containers for China to use. The Shanghai Containerized Freight Index, which measures freight prices from Shanghai to overseas ports, has jumped more than 63 percent to almost 3,500 U.S. dollars per container from May 21st to 28th because of the shortage. But China Costco shipping has been making every effort to ease the problem by raising its own container production as rapidly as possible. The factory's production has increased substantially. The actual rate is up two and a half or three times from the past. China Costco shipping is now working to combine all these resources, aiming to supply 30 percent of global container needs. That will make the company the second largest container manufacturer in the world. Zhang Shixuan, Money Talks.